Yeah, so with elimination method, you have to identify the coefficients which are equal. So in this case, we have the middle terms. Let me show you this. Here, this one here and that one on top. They have equal coefficients. Here there is a one in front of negative y. Here there is positive one. But mostly those numbers are not shown. Because it's a one, one by y, it's y. Yeah. Yeah, so the coefficients here are equal. So now the moment you identify equal coefficients, what you need to do now is you, <laughs> you now uh, consider the signs that those two coefficients are occurring. So th this one here has a negative sign. This one has a positive sign. So now when, when, when the signs are different, what you do is you add throughout. The core essence of doing that is to eliminate those two coefficients which are equal. So since this one is negative one, let me show you here. Negative one plus one, that will give you a zero. Which is why we are adding here because the signs are different when we add we are going to eliminate them. So these two will be eliminated. That will be a zero. Now, how about three plus plus uh, two X? That will be five X, which is, uh, let me get, let me get, let me, let me erase this. So, <clears throat> Network is tripping, huh? Mm. Yeah, pretty bad, pretty bad. So now, as I was saying, you identify the coefficients which are equal. So here we have a one, we have a one. And consider the signs. If the signs are different, add throughout. If the signs are the same, subtract throughout. So since here they are the same, the, 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 the signs are different rather. We are going to say we are adding this. Even here we are adding. Even here we are adding. So now what really are we adding? Here we are adding 3x and uh, 2x. And that gives us 5x, right? 5x. Yeah. So now I record that one here. 5x. Then this one here, we say that's a negative y plus y. And that gives us a zero. Because it's as good as having negative one and positive one. And it will give us a zero. So these two will get eliminated. Uh, that's why we are applying the elimination method. So now 5 plus 10, here there's an equal sign. We write the equal sign. And then we add 5 to 10, that will give us 15. So now we have a linear equation in one unknown variable. How then do we determine the value of the unknown variable? So we simply multiply both sides by the inverse of 5. But I'm not going to use that because that's, what not, that's not what you've been taught. You've been taught that you simply divide both sides by 5, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah coolest so now five there one five there one and we remain with x which is equal to five into fifteen three three so you see now that you found a figure which isn't correct you said x is equal to five right yeah <laughs> and I'm wondering, how did you find that five? Okay, so now let's go down. You need to know that a simultaneous equation has two solutions. So now when you you find the value of x, you need to soldier on and find the value of y. 
pick on any of these original equations. So that is 2x, I'm picking on the second equation, 2x plus y, which gives us a 10. So now where there is x, I will substitute in a 3. And so now we've already found the value yeah. of x. So where there is x, I'm bringing in a 3. So I will write a 2. And where there is x, I write a 3. Then plus y is equal to 10. We multiply out a 2 by 3. That gives us a 6. Plus y is equal to 10. Okay. We can wrap this one up by now saying, okay, fine, since we know this one, we we have a linear equation in one unknown variable. So we add an additive inverse to 6. So the additive inverse of 6 is negative 6. What we do on the left side is what we do even on the right mm -hmm. side. Minus 6. So 6 minus 6, that will give us a 0. And we remain with y. So y will equal to 10 minus 6. What did you get? 10 minus 6. That's a 4, right? Mm -hmm. So now we have the two solutions I mentioned now. So we can say, therefore, x is equal to 3. And uh, y is equal to 4. Y is equal to 4. Okay. Are we done? So this is what people call simultaneous, mm -hmm. simultaneous equations.